from this year, we are starting our first Rising Sun Award. And as you, as you have seen that uh, our honorable minister, who giving our, who's supposed to give away the, uh, actually he promised and he today, even this morning and this afternoon, unfortunately, prime minister called him and because our election is going to happen. So he just called me and sent me the message. So for that, on behalf of Mr. Minister, we'd like to request Mr. Marwa to give away our three awards. This year we are announcing three awards for uh, contributing to India, Japan. One is cultural integration, another is trade, and another is promoting the to definitely trade and business, but both are actually, um, you know, I'm not going to reveal now. So now our anchors will be revealing and one by one, little bit later. But uh, before that, we'll clean the stage and we'll make the stage for award and just, just have a little bit patience and we will be having first ever you know, both countries award between India and Japan. For that, big applause. This is thus the beginning. Our jury members, we have 10 members in our jury and they selected them. So, and I have no hand there. They selected them. This is, this year we didn't have time. So we selected three. Next year it would be more, more categories. So thank you so much. Okay, so it is now time to felicitate the dignitaries who have contributed significantly in their respective fields. And um, for that, I'd first like to invite Mr. Marva up on the stage to do the honors, since you've just broke a very uh, good news to us. So I guess you'll be the right person to felicitate the awardees. So our first award is for cultural integration. Sorry. <laughs> our first award is for cultural integration and it goes to none other than Dr. Hiroyuki Sato. He's a, sco a scholar of Sanskrit and uh, is a true testament to how cultural gaps can actually be bridged. So uh, we like to honor him on this day. And thank you so much, sir, for all the work that you've so, done. So uh, the Sato-san for Sato-sensei, please give him big applause. And thank you so much. This is... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Take it, take it. Don't break it. Okay. So here you go, sir. Thank you so much for giving. And thank you so much, Sato-sensei, for your wonderful work. Thank you so much, and I would like to request you for a few words. Oh, you want to speak there? Okay. <laughs> so, may I have you? Yes. Anana, please keep it on his table. Be careful. Yeah, I'll pass it. Good evening, everyone. Konnichiwa, Ninasan, Konnichiwa. My name is Kirik Sato, and I am very honored and happy to receive this award. Uh, I have no Nupusa or Nupusa Sunina. I have no. I have known Nupur-san uh, for several years. Last year, I met her, and she told me one plan. She wanted to publish uh, Connect in the Indian and Japan magazine, and she wanted to contribute and to make strong the relationship of uh, India and Japan. And uh, she said to me, this is my dream. This is my dream. Uh, yes. So as you know, uh, she's very energetic and powerful, and uh, I must say, she's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, and uh, she has huge passion. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Uh, ka Josh, to put the balaya. To shakti ma bi hai. To I don't know exactly uh, what I could do for her dream, but I wanted to help her dream to come true. I have researched in your philosophy, religion, and in your culture, so I have no any experience of business. So. I cannot speak on business, but just I want to uh, speak one thing. Recently, uh, many Japanese tourists visit to Japan, and so many Japanese companies expand to their business in India. In this situation, I think it is very important. It is very important for Japanese people to understand Indian culture. Because uh, Indian people are very proud of uh, their culture and respect their culture uh, very much. So I feel it is very important for Japanese people to uh, understand Indian culture. So one question comes to our mind. What is Indian culture? Bharti is Sanskrit to kya hoti hai? To uska jawab dena. It is very difficult to answer this question. But we can say, Shrimad Bhagavad Gita, which is one of the sacred and forty textbook Hindi religion. This Shrimad Bhagavad Gita is the essence of Indian culture. Essence of Indian culture. Bharti is Sanskrit ka swarup atma or birasate. So every Indian people knows uh, know Bhagavad Gita. So uh, someone says uh, it is very difficult to read Bhagavad Gita, even if it is translated into Japanese. But two years ago, I translated Srimad Bhagavad Gita from Sanskrit into Japanese. But this is not not in only Japanese. It is common and plain and easy standing in Japanese. So I would like uh, all Japanese people to recommend uh, to uh, Srimad Bhagavad Gita. I published uh, it uh, from um, Kadoka Publishing Company. So my purpose of this book is to convey Indian culture and Sri Bhagavad Gita to the heart of Japanese people. So, me, Bharti Sanskrit or Sri Bhagavad Gita ko Japanese logon ke dili tak pahunche na ta. Dili tak pahunche na ta. Dimag ya budi tak nahi. Dili tak pahunche na ta. The kyunki. Sorry. Because uh, we can understand Srimad Bhagavad Gita uh, reading by our heart. So, uh, at the end of my speech, I want to say Bharat or Japanka Samband Strongta or Prabhupta Majigurta or Stronghe. Or strong rahega. Or mujhe aasha hai ki idono desh ka samband amar rahe. I wish the relationship of India and Japan will be successful in future. So thank you very much. This award again. Meri baat sunne ke liye baat karta yar. Chahi. Thank you so much, Sato Sensei. You know, Bhagavad Gita in Japanese. For him, one more time, big applause. And that is the reason our juries, they selected him. Thank you so much. Thank you. So our second award is for fostering bilateral relations. And it goes to none other than the former ambassador, Mr. Arjun Asrani.
Mr. Arjun Asrani was a former, uh, is the former ambassador of India to Japan with Grand Cordon of the Order of the Rising Sun in recognition of his outstanding contribution to the furtherance of friendly relations between Japan and India. Mr. Arjun Asrani has served in the Embassy of India in Tokyo as many as three times, and he has been making tremendous contribution to the furtherance of friendly relations between Japan and India as a citizen of India and a friend of Japan since his retirement from the government of India. On behalf of Mr. Arjun Asrani, we have uh, Mr. Tushar Asrani, who will be collecting the award. And uh, Mr. Tushar Asrani himself is a lawyer and has worked with several Japanese manufacturers. So can we please welcome him on the stage? Thank you so much, Tushar. And Tushar is himself an achievo and working between India and Japan. So uh, he is uh, really you know, doing his best between India and Japan. So please give it to him. बहुत कंजूस हैं आप लोग। Thank you Tushar and actually please say few words on behalf of Ambassador Asrani, please. Thank you Nupursan for creating this platform and introducing everybody who is interested in Japan to each other. On behalf of Arjun Asrani ji, first of all he was very sorry that he could not personally come for this event and he would like to thank all of you and especially Nupursan to honor him with this award. He's turning 90 this May and he said this is his 90th birthday gift. So thank you Nupursan. Thank you so much. Thank you and I look forward to be part of this uh, conclave in the future and see you all next year Nupursan and in Japan soon. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tushar, for coming and receiving this award. I spoke to Ambassador Asrani. He's 90. I spoke to him over phone. And he was so overwhelmed. He was so overwhelmed that we remembered him. And his three terms he served in Japan. And he was so you know, nostalgic it was for him that uh, we remember him and we're just honoring him. It is an honor for us, actually, and that is the reason our jury members, they selected him, and uh, as Tushar San said, that this is the 90th birthday present for him. So please, big applause for Ambassador Astrani. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. Last but not the least, and Yutika. So our third, last but not the least, awardee, is going to get an award for promoting trade relations. And the award goes to none other than Mrs. Gitanjali Vikram Kirloskar. I think uh, this is the name is enough. She's doing tremendous work between India and Japan. And ma'am actually supposed to come, but she could not come you know, from Bangalore actually for this award. I, uh, I also said yes, uh, she's very busy as you know that a lot of things are going on between Kirloskar and Japan. So on behalf of, please, Nisuji, please come here and please receive this award. Thank you so much. But we have, we have her awards with me, with us. We'll be playing after, immediate after this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you. And uh, for this first award ceremony, please say a few words. Thank you, Nipur, once again. Uh, I'm recollecting two lines. Ke sabhi dishaon se shub sundar, bhav vichar bhare nit antar, punne dhara ban jaye swarg ye, mere yatno se karunakar. What I'm trying to tell you here, whether it is north, south, east, or west, whether you're in India or abroad, whether you are on the top of the hill or you're standing at a seashore, whether you are in a lush green garden and looking at some colorful flowers, or maybe looking at the most beautiful woman on earth, 
The fact is there are two things which are much more beautiful than what you can see with your naked eyes. And these two things are your thinking and your feelings. And the best part is that both the things are within you. You don't even need eyes for that. On this very auspicious day, let's pray. Hey Lord, give me good thinking, give me good feelings so that I can do good deeds. And through my good karmas, I would love to convert this earth into heaven. This is what I believe. I'm sure you will also believe in the same. My heartiest congratulations to all the three dignities who have been able to win this wonderful and a most prestigious uh, award today. Uh, I wish many people will come next time. And I think uh, we are not going to put uh, uh, a gap of a year because I'm very keen to organize another program very soon on Indo-Japan relationship. With all these words, thank you very much for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be part of this program. Thank you very much, Nupur. Thank you so much, Mr. Marwa. Thank you so much for honoring us. Thank you. And I think our real is ready. Please play. My compliments to Connect India Japan, Indo-Japan, the Rising Sun Conclave for this wonderful initiative in working towards improving and building the relations between two large countries, India and Japan. This is perhaps the first award show of its kind between India and Japan. And mark that it is done by a woman single-handedly. These conclaves are mostly done by big media houses and planned by different chambers of commerce. A young girl with a humble background coming from the rural part of India had the courage to connect two large countries and work on an initiative as important and as vibrant as this. This shows that women empowerment can inspire millions of similar young girls from humble backgrounds, from rural India, from smaller cities and towns in the country to dream big and to make sure that they deliver on their dreams and achieve the highest level of success. I wish the Rising Sun Conclave my very best and great success in attempting and succeeding to bridge the gap between India and Japan and bring the countries closer together for greater and more meaningful exchange, both at a people-to-people -people level and at a business level. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and uh, this is not the end. Thank you so much for coming and receiving. It's our honor. Thank you so much. And uh, this year, as this is just the beginning. Next year, we'll be doing more and properly. Just within a month and half preparation, we have I have <laughs> started, you know. Then, uh, so next year, it would be grand. I'm sure people will be, or everyone will be with us. I'm sure about that.